Hello, and thanks for spending a little bit of time with me. Garth Brooks has a great song called Pushing Up Daisies, and in it he says, there's two dates in time that they'll carve on your stone, and everyone knows what they mean. But what's more important is the time that is known as that little dash there in between. And what I'd like to share with you is a couple of stories about airmen that I met during a recent trip in PACAF who are making the most of their Air Force dash. Folks like Senior Airman Leah Gleason, who's assigned to the 8th Civil Engineer Squadron at Kunsan, part of the Red Devils. In just under four years in the Air Force, she's already on her third assignment, starting at Lake and Heath, passing through Kunsan, and now at, now at Nellis. She was an incredibly impressive airman, asking some of the most sophisticated questions that Chief Lewis and I heard during our stop. A very proud emergency manager, she played a hand in making sure that the team at Kunsan was ready to fight tonight. At Yakota, we met Senior Airman Arifel Haig. He's a water and fuel systems management specialist. He immigrated from Bangladesh when he was nine years old and felt a strong commitment to serve his country. He did so after already achieving a bachelor's and master's degree and upon graduation from BMT, obtained his US citizenship. He has been airman of everything at every location he's been, earning senior airman below the zone, and he was an incredibly inspiring airman. Also at Kunsan, we met many dedicated civilians, folks like Mr. Chiwan Tuk. He started his career at Kunsan in 1968 working with services, ultimately moving to supply and transportation, and finally in 1994 joining the CE team in the real property shop. He now is in charge of the real property section and doing a fantastic job. I can't tell you the sense of pride that he had in talking about what he did. And again, for 40 plus years of service, uh, he is maximizing his dash in support of the United States Air Force. We've also had an opportunity over the last two weeks to see many of our civil engineers recognized at some of the highest levels of their profession. Captain Tim Callahan was recently named the National Society of Professional Engineers uh, Military Engineer of the Year. One of the course instructors from AFIT, he's done a phenomenal job at leveraging new technology to maximize our capability to provide training in a very budget-constrained environment. Earlier last week, Senior Master Sergeant Julie Sosa from AFKEC was named the Headquarters United States Air Force Senior NCO of the Year. Chief Lewis and I bounded out of our seats and gave her a standing ovation as her name was called, and she was beaming with pride standing between the Chief of Staff of the Air Force, General Mark Welsh, and Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force, Jim Cody. We couldn't be more proud of her and what she's accomplished. And finally, I got word last week that a, a coworker of mine from Air Combat Command, Dr. Paul Green, had the opportunity to attend a screening of the Monuments Men at the White House. Dr. Green has been working hand in hand with folks throughout the Department of Defense to ensure that our cultural resources are preserved, both at home and in deployed locations. And over the last several years has worked hand in glove with the State Department. And so to honor him for his dedicated service, one of the senior officials there invited him to attend the screening where he had an opportunity to meet the stars of the movie, such as George Clooney and Matt Damon, and culminate his visit with an opportunity to shake the hand of the president and enjoy a viewing of the movie and his company. These are just a few of the many airmen, the many civil engineers, military and civilian, throughout our Air Force who are making a difference every day. And I just wanted to express on behalf of Chief Lewis and the rest of the senior leaders here in the Pentagon how much we appreciate what you do. It's your dash, make the most of it, and I look forward to seeing you out in the field.